Welcome to the 43rd video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to give my opinions on the controversial subject of the best beer in Thailand. Let's get started. An emotional topic. If you get a group of long-term Thailand expats together, they'll eventually get on the subject of the best beer in Thailand. I've participated in this discussion more times than I care to mention over the past 19 years. Contenders are basically all the top selling Thai beers, namely Leo, Chang and Sing. In that order. I must state up front that I'm not a fan of lager. This means that right off the bat, I'm never going to fall in love with any of the top selling Thai beers. My opinion is that all the top selling Thai beers taste like arse and Chang is of note for being particularly nasty. Sing beer, in my opinion, is only popular because it's usually drunk with very spicy Thai food which means that you can't properly taste it. I very much doubt the same beer would ever be paired in a fine dining restaurant with European cuisine. Anyway, to give you some background on what's available in Thailand, I'm first going to go through the top selling Thai beers. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about the craft beer market and why it's so pitiful. Finally, I'm going to recommend what you should drink, especially if you're like me and don't much care for lager. Onwards, Sing beer. Sing is Thailand's oldest and best known lager. It's produced by the Boon Rod Brewery, which was started in 1933. You can find Sing in standard, 5% ABV, light, 3.5% ABV, and draft versions. Leo beer. Leo is also produced by the Boon Rod Brewery. It's a cheaper version of Sing, and basically a standard lager, 5% ABV. Leo is, by quite a margin, the top selling beer in Thailand. Chang beer is produced by Thai Beverage, better known as Thai Bev. It's known globally for its sponsorship of Liverpool's Everton Football Club, as its name and logo have appeared on the team uniform since 2004. Interestingly, Chang used to be 6.4% ABV, but recently it seems the cans in 7-Eleven are now 5.2% ABV. It's been a good long time since I last drank Chang, but this beer is well known for resulting in a Chang over. If you drink this beer to excess, it won't end well the next day. As of 2017, Thai Bev started production of Fiederbräu. More on this beer in a bit. The other top selling Thai beers. All the other top selling Thai beers are produced by the Thai Asia Pacific Brewery, also known as the TAPB, and it's non brewery plant. The TAPB produces Heineken, Tiger, Cheers, and Cheers Extra. Cheers Extra is a hangover-inducing 6.5% ABV. The TAPB is also the sole importer of Guinness and Kilkenny. The pitiful craft beer market in Thailand. If you're wondering why there are so few Thai craft beers, here's why. Due to Thailand's 1950 Liquor Act, only two types of licenses are available for would-be beer producers. License number one. Beer can be made in a factory that produces more than 1 million litres per year. License number two. Beer can be made in a brew pub that produces at least 100,000 litres per year. All beer sales must be made on site, with no building permitted. Basically, brew pub beers cannot be sold off premises. In 2000, the finance ministry made matters worse by ruling that in order to obtain a license, producers must be a limited company with at least 10 million baht of registered capital. The final nail in the coffin for craft beer producers in Thailand was a law passed by the National Legislative Assembly, or NLA, in December 2016. This raised the maximum penalty for illegal production to 100,000 baht, or a prison sentence of six months, or both. The maximum fine for selling illegal beer was also raised to 50,000 baht. Small brewers basically have two options, either hire an overseas factory to make the beer, or build a factory abroad on their own. Then they have to import the beer and pay duties of up to 60%. Not good. What I drink. In my opinion, there are three drinkable beers in Thailand at reasonable prices. I'm a big fan of wheat beers, which is why the first two are wheat beers. Best beer in Thailand number one, Kaiser Dom. Kaiser Dom is produced in Gestalt, a quarter of Bamberg, Germany. Jörg Morg founded the brewery in 1718. Since 1910, it's been managed by the Werner family. In 1953, they brewed 6,000 hectolitres. Production today is a massive 250,000 hectolitres. 
The Brauerei Kaiserdom, Imperial Cathedral Brewery in English, is the biggest brewery in Bamberg. Kaiserdom, thankfully, now seems to be everywhere in Bangkok. All the major supermarkets, and most importantly 7-Eleven, sell it. One of the great things about Kaiserdom is that you get one litre of amazing tasting beer for around 195 baht, a bargain for Thailand due to the sky-high import taxes. I love, love, love the Kaiserdom Hefweizen, or wheat beer. That said, Kaiserdom's current lineup has five other different kinds of beer. Pilsner, Dunkelweizen, Kristallweizen, Schwarzbier, and a non-alcoholic beer. Best beer in Thailand number two, Snowweizen. Snowweizen is a wheat beer produced by S33, a division of the Boon Road Brewery, who produced Sing Beer. You can buy 419 milliliter cans of this beer for around 55 baht in 7-Eleven. It's 4% ABV. Snowweizen is a shockingly drinkable wheat beer. I was staggered when I found out they was brewed by Brune Rold. Maybe there's hope for Thailand to produce drinkable beer moving forward. Note, they import all the main ingredients, which might explain why the beer tastes so good. Best beer in Thailand number three, Fiederbroi. Apart from Phuket beer, Fiederbroi, which is produced by Thai Bev, is the only Thai beer brewed in accordance with the German purification law, the Reinheitsgebot. I suspect that this is one of the key reasons why it's so drinkable. It must be noted that while Fiederbräu is far better than its Thai produced beers, when compared with the best of Europe, it's very far from a good brewery. Closing thoughts. If I'm at home, I'll pretty much just drink Kaiserdom. Though that said, I'll buy a few cans of Snowweizen every so often. When out, it can be tricky. If possible, I'll go for Fiederbräu. This beer, though, isn't widely available, so plan B is often Heineken. Not a great option, but less worse than Leo, Chang or Singh. Note, Thai produced Heineken doesn't taste the same as Heineken in the UK and Holland. It's not nearly as good in my opinion. Worst case scenario is Singh, though if possible I'd rather go elsewhere than resort to drinking this beer. If I have to drink Leo, Chang or Singh, I'll do what the Thai do and add ice to it. This takes off the edge and also minimises the inevitable hangover. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all you techers out there, this video is shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and edited using HitFilm Express. To check out details on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any thoughts or comments on the best beer in Thailand. Please do reach out to me through the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.